Hello, 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 and welcome back to my FSX FS Economy career mode. Following on from the last flight where we landed in Kerry Kerry from Wangarai, I've done a couple of flights offline and travelled north and ended up in Magenta in New Caledonia. The last two flights were non passenger flights, they were just uh, solo flights. Today we're going to be taking some passengers and we're going to be taking them to Tontu Ta, New Mayor. Caledonia, New Caledonia. It's on the same island. It's only 20 nautical miles away, northwesterly direction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick which ones I'm going to take. I've got the choice of a lingerie model, town drunk, wood washer, coal miner's daughter, and a bird holder. So I'm going to have the town drunk two ladies. I'm going to add these uh, these to my flight. I'm going to rent my aircraft, which is under the ID of Sierra Hotel Romeo Papa Yankee 28. I'm going to rent it. When I look at my aircraft, uh, it's going to be due to check soon. Which is handy because in Tontuta, sounds good that Tontuta, Tonto, there's um, an aviation repair place so I can get everything checked over there. I've uh, got 16% fuel load, which is about 8 gallons, so I'll have to put some fuel in. 9 gallons, not far off. So I'll just refuel this. I'm only going to put it up to half a tank, 27 gallons. I'm not going to bother with the weather conditions because once again, it's with the time difference, weather conditions are on the historical weather from a couple of days ago. Ah, no then, it'll be okay. I'm just looking at the warning at the top. It's prohibited from commercial operations. If 100 hour inspection time is exceeded, but it's not. It's on 92.9 hours. So we're all set up to go. We've got fuel on board, passengers are on board. It's gonna be a direct flight. We'll have a look at little nav map and we'll have a look at the route. Then we'll determine what ATC is gonna decide with us, where they're gonna send us. So, I'll join you in a moment in Little Nav Map. Right, following on from the introduction to the flight, uh, we're currently sat on Stand 2 in the General Aviation at Magenta. Have a look at the weather conditions, it's 114 degrees at 13 knots. So we're going to be taking off on runway 17 or it's up to ATC which way they want to send me they can either fetch me back right turn past the airport and get onto track there or they can make me do a left turn come back over the runway we're going to be traveling in a northwesterly direction over some of the little small towns over the water up to Tontuta we're going to be coming in on the ILS glide slope coming onto runway 11 probably end up coming back up past this NDB as soon as we've got that on our direction finder then we know we're bang on for the runway so i'll get into fsx get all my checks done i'll get everything loaded up i'll join you when we're taxiing to the runway right here we are in the little cockpit as well cockpit tuned to magenta tower just gonna quest ifa clearance after we've got our clearance we will start the engine start our pushback all our checks have already been done our passengers are already loaded taxi down to the runway and then we'll get on our way Okay, so we've been given our taxi clearance now. Start our engines up. Not like that though. Get the power off. Put our parking brakes on. Should have done that beforehand. That's me bad. All our lights are on. We'll start our push back, taxi up the runway, turn ourselves around at the top of the runway. There's two turning points there. Then we'll get on our way and we'll wait for our instructions from ATC pull us on our direction. I'll just put the head in at the runway head in and it's 166. At least the handbrake. Let's start our pushback. back. 
I know I could probably just spin this aircraft around in the area what I've got. But we'll do things correct. A little bit of power. Get ourselves moving. I saw Trundle up the run up the taxiway. Don't want to be travelling too fast. Approaching. Side. Side that there's nothing coming in. All clear, turn the lights on, flaps down, making a left turn up the runway. the left hand side turning this for turning port
Right, we shall request clearance. Take off. Right, we've been given clearance. I'm powering the bird and let's get on our way. Fix the pots. Rotate. Beautiful, beautiful smooth takeoff. Positive climb. Gear up. Tune to departure. I can't understand what happened there. <coughs> was given the departure clearance, but then they didn't acknowledge that I'd uh, turned the radio into the departure. Gave me another squat code, terminating my services. Never mind, not bothered. We're on our way. Well, this flight should take us around, around 20 minutes. And I know we'll not get to 6,000 feet. We're halfway across it now. We've travelled four miles already. Well, the plans when I get to this next airport, uh, I've got another flight in mind, which is going to be travelling. Uh, east direction across the island to another little small island that will be the next video See, the thing is I've got to try and get up towards China 
uh, Japan and fly into Russia, fly across Russia, through Poland, through Germany. Holland, then back into England, and there's quite with the capabilities of a Cessna with the range, it's going to be uh, a, a lot of short flights 100, 100 nautical miles, 200 nautical miles. I've got some routes mapped out what I want to do but like I say it's all down to paying customers if I take that route but I would still be heading towards those airports anyway just means that there may be 50 or 60 more flights to do it's gonna be time consuming it'll possibly take me 12 months I can get small, I can get videos out one or two a week. I'm going to aim for two a week. Can't promise anything um, due to work commitment and stuff like that. Um, with a wife, we do have other things to do. But I can actually see the airport in front of me now. Probably at 6,000 feet. I didn't think I'd get there. But I'm only 9 miles away from the airport. Just coming into view. Just just over the S. What will probably happen is I'll probably descend to about 3,000 feet. Come past the airport. Go back over the water. Come back that way. I'm going to start my descent now. I'm going to be flying past the airport back over the little bit of a rest of a hill there over the water, come back round on runway 11 drop it down to 2000 feet speed down a bit further Only five hundred and eighty six knots, which is ideal. at 4,000 feet
and are heading to 289 so flying over the runway there's no aircraft on the ground that's handy for us Fuel's good. Everything else is good. Feed's good. Heading's good. Both match up. Acknowledge that landing clearance. Travel out to our VOR indicator 1 where as you can see the line tells us that we are it would below the glide so no we're above the glide slope we'll wait until that comes up tells us we we'll bang on the glide slope and we'll make our turn. And we'll land this puppy. Let's go speed back up. And the approach. I'll turn back to the airport. What we'll do is we'll take over now, come down and we'll get on onto the glide slope. Ideally we're looking for two red, two white. Moment we're all four white. So we're above.
nor when we're bang on the glide slope because the pop VOR indicator line that's pointing downwards straight across in a horizontal And we've got all white and all red, then we need the uh, blue in. That's not your flaps, full flaps, 60 knots.
Yes, I will do. Keep hustling me. Coming up to the turn off now on the left hand side. Charlie. Taxi way, Charlie. General Aviation Parking is on the right hand side, the main terminal. Hold it one second and and number number four number five And brakes on. Engine off. Right, that's the end of the flight. Open the door.
and let the passengers out. And with that, we'll go back into FS Economy. We'll see whether this flight was profitable. Having an hourly restriction may not have registered the flight. It said it's registered it, may not have done. I'll join you again in a moment and we're back on to um, FS Economy. Okay, following on, it's allowed the flight to go ahead. The income for the flight was $1,290. My aircraft, so no rental cost. Ground crew fees, $129, which is 10%. The earnings of this flight were $1,161. Section maintenance i'll we'll perform the checks which is going to cost me 1147 i've got enough cash in my hand and perform that check plane is no good on the engine repair and everything else moderate amounts of carbon deposits with engine cylinders and exhaust valves so it's cost me one one thousand four hundred and five dollars altogether which is fine I knew it was going to come but i'd have to start paying well that'll be the end of the fight uh end of this video don't forget if you like what you see hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further publications of my fsx fs economy career give me a big fat thumbs up it really does help make my little channel get to where we want to get it to that i'll bid you farewell and happy fighting bye bye